let's do this crazy thing that Kudas likes to do because we're not actually in motion, we're just... <laughs> Before this road was constructed, just a few years ago, the town of Hipapad was also only accessible by an overnight boat from the coastal town of Oras. Now, these smaller torpedo boats travel to even more remote barangays in the hinterlands and to the edge of the forest, where we find a beautiful waterfall named for an Italian priest who helped found this town. Well, we're here in Hipapad and this is a real inland municipality. When, how many years ago was the road built? The last uh, time that we had the boats coming from, uh, I mean going to Oras was in, I think, 2015. What, recently? Yeah. It's so, less than 10 years ago. Yeah, less than 10 years ago, we were using the bomb boat to reach other municipalities. Wow. And I just noticed all of these carvings here. Actually, I've seen this one. I've already decided I'm going to buy it. It's I've, I've now got a couple of weeks before I go home to explain it to my wife, but this is beautiful. Yeah. All hand carved, right? Yes, it's hand carved. They're using manual tools to carve all this. Amazing. In a barangay that's very, very upland and there's not enough water to get there by boat. Yes. It's... Which means I'd have to walk and I'm... Actually, I could, but next time. Yeah, why Next not? Time. Why not? Why not? But this is this is awesome. I appreciate this this amount of craftsmanship, and it certainly, it's certainly it's a craft that you can't find so often in the Philippines anymore. So I always appreciate when you can find it. And by the way, I found out that all of this wood they don't cut trees for this. This is the waste when trees fall or when they yeah. This is the waste like the roots they use the other parts of the tree that aren't used for well, building houses and so on and so forth. So this is all like a waste product. This game, actually this is a game. Call it uh, Songka. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And oops. Then, like oh, that one. Oh, and then oops. you turn up. So you turn and then oh, you put oh, there oh, and oh, then... Oh, oh. Oh. Until ah. it can, uh, wait, wait, wait. What's happening? No, wait, wait. <laughs> that, that's, that's sample actually. <laughs> actually, that's yours and that's mine. Yeah, correct. Oh. Don't uh. argue with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to introduce you to our chocolate moron in Hipapad. This is the best chocolate moron in the Philippines. People who have tasted our chocolate moron here in Hipapad used to bring some to USA, to Canada, to to Dubai. This is, it's very, it's big, it's fat. Yes. Okay. This is a rice. How do I open this? Yeah. You can just <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, I'm just gonna tear it open. Yeah. The question is, wow, look at it. Oh! Oh, it's, see, it's chocolate. That's, wow. So, mm. thing. It is right. This is the best chocolate moron I've tasted in the Philippines so far. So far. Right. I haven't had anything that matches this. This is it's chocolatey. Wow. You really you see the cacao, huh? Correct. There's nobody who will say no to chocolate. Yeah. Or if somebody says no to chocolate, do not trust them. <laughs> Ever. Jolly. Snap complete. We took a look around this town that's full of charm. Then in February we have more than five floods as well. So yeah. really floods? Huh? Yeah, because I've, this I've... is it's called cash basin of two rivers. And that is why when it rains, it pours and it floods. <laughs> so all the houses are two stories. So yeah. how high does the flood go? Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Oh, 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 ah, no, oh, oh, two meters. From here, huh? oh, taller than me, no? and this is even the highest part, yeah, of the, of the town. Hi, mm. by the way, this is Hi. Madame hello, Emily. hello, this hello. is our ABC president, Hi, the hello. chairman of the chairman. <laughs> Welcome to our uh, humble town, Ibapa District. Somewhere, uh, <laughs> a lot of beautiful, <laughs> <ladies. Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> thank, okay, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's from. From Italy? Italy, yes. Wow. 
I, I don't know mm. how it got here. It's so heavy and it's so difficult to transport that one from from the plane down to Hipapad. Huh. I, I don't know how they got it here. This is a new church. Okay. Uh, see, it's not mm. yet fully completed, but the first priest who came to Hipapad was Father Angelo Saverio Sanisi. So he also built this hospital? Yeah, because it's a doctor. That was 1956. Saint Magdalene of Canossa. She's from Italy. Yeah. So the inspiration. Yeah, she founded the uh, Canossian Sons and Daughters of Charity. Father Zanisi was really like a fa uh, founding father, one of the founding fathers of Hipapad. Uh, yes, that's right. Mm. Because he, uh, in fact, he is one of the pillars of Hipapad. He was there during the founding of Hipapad in Malacanang. From there, we took more of a look around this historic town. One of the oldest houses, it's the mayor's ancestral. Oh, okay! Yeah. And do you know that my father has constructed this house? And so many of these properties have been preserved. This really survived to the strongest typhoon. Uh, and, and it became our main... Oh, wow! So that food can, can reach this place. Did vehicles cross this? Or? Yeah. Before, wow. Yeah, even the trucks. It's, and, mm, it's yeah. amazing. Wow, it's just an old log bridge. Yeah. There's talk of replacing it, but I like it. It's wow. This. So you can imagine how low the, the river is here. When this floods, it being the catch basin, just imagine how much water comes down to go right up there we must be it must be five meters below that incredible and this this bridge is just it's like an old railway bridge when I stand here it's one of those places again where you just feel history it's like feeling the old pioneer days <laughs> trespassing door <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the uh, it's an old 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 bike the Italian heritage again, it looks like a Vespa. And I have no idea how it got up there. It's flying bike. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Flooding, I think. So, uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe they put it there. <laughs> this is actually the old cockpits, the old. The old fighting chickens, roosters, rooster fighting thing, sabong, that one. Downstream a little, near one of the newer hanging bridges, is the old dock. Okay. She used to disembark from the boat. Okay. Here, on this side here. This is really the This wall, is the huh? most okay. popular war yeah. ever. It's never named. It's only oh. called Papa War. <laughs> it's, it was not flooded. It looks like the water is so deep over here. But when it's flooded, wow. It comes up. Yeah. But before we boarded a boat going upstream, there was a delicacy waiting for us. That's frog. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Deep fried. It like looks chicken. like chicken. Does it taste like chicken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, and the pancit, that pancit is amazing. This is the most epic looking pancit I've ever seen in my life. Is that frog? Don't know. Maybe, maybe there's frog in the pancit. We'll never know. <laughs> this is a certain animal that you don't eat very often. It's uh, frog's legs. Let's be French today, except they're deep fried. Hmm. You know what it tastes like? Yes, it tastes like chicken. It does, but very black peppery. It has this like deeper flavor, a bit more gamey. Right now, we're going for the real adventure again. Today, I think the boat's a bit smaller because the river's also smaller. Frank the Tank is here and we have a new member of the team. Hi. <laughs> we have Mira as well. We have Frank the Tank and Mira the... 
Mira the Lady Rider. <laughs> no! <The> lady Rider. <laughs> Mira Lady Rider. <laughs> <Capitan>. <laughs> These guys here, they know the deal. You see, the earth comes down. The houses do not, they stay at the same level. They know the score. And Tawagni on torpedo boat. Ah. A botti. Botti. Now Peter Pan. Peter Pan and I know Tagia in Miami. Boatsman must learn every part of this river so well. Riding a long boat like this through the narrow channels requires great precision. There's another barangay en route to our destination. But all along the river, people make their livelihoods. Welcome to Barangay Kagmanaba. Another botti. Another one of the boats under construction. And this is the closest barangay to the waterfalls that are also named after the Italian priest I mentioned earlier. Tonight, we'll be staying in our boatsman's home in the village. Can you do it now? Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you fragged the tank. Okay. Tuba. Okay. First things first. They have tuba. Second thing second. I don't know where we're going, but they've done road widening and then they haven't. There's a party going there. Uh, let's try to log in first. Here. I thought we were going to party first. first. Oh, with the military. Oh, I thought we were going to party first, but. No. And then. After logging in, we continued to explore the barangay. Ah, there's the party. Let's go, let's go. There's a party here too. Everyone's partying. Everyone's partying. Party, party. <laughs> yeah. Party, Yeah, I can yeah. see. Hello, man. Hello, this is about Hello. music. Uh, and this is Jana. Jana is uh, one of the barangay health workers. She is one of the friendliest people here. Oh. Yeah. Invited into so many homes. The same great hospitality everywhere. You can see from the river. The water level's really low at the moment, knee deep. But you can see how high it gets. There must be a five meter or more difference. Crazy. Dress chicken, you don't want undressed chicken. Yeah. Remember, all this brought in by the same size boat. Actually, there's three types of coke. The other type is 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 gas. <laughs> it's royal. Oh, this one's royal, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a different variety. <laughs> Kawalwal. Kawalwal. Yeah, Kawalwal. This is the best rice we have. Why? It is not easy to digest. So you only take some and 
It will, kumbaga, you will not Mabusog get hungry na. easily. Oh. Uh, if you are um, healthy, something conscious. Healthy? Healthy? You be, if you're healthy, are you healthy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's say no. We are all healthy. You should always be healthy. That's what they grow in here. Right? Yeah. They grow here. The color is medio pinkish. Yeah. No? Just like some people here. Me. <laughs> I put sun cream, but no, I don't. I don't. I don't really know. And we got. We were meant to get native chicken, but so we got dressed chicken, which has now been undressed <laughs> and has been through. Speaking of pinkish, has been through a tanning salon. I think. Yeah. Tanning booth. This is adorable. And today we're climbing up some steps because that's what I love to do every morning. Let's go to Sunnissi Falls. Yeah. Let me lead you the way. My brother's gonna lead. <laughs> Over here. Ah, regional tour guide. <laughs> Selfie no. stick, go. The 30 minute hike takes us through wonderful nature in many forms. This is the good, the no, no mowers required. Staying in the community was the perfect immersion. It's where you really start to feel the place. Just going up to the waterfalls and then coming back would have been different. Mix one. <laughs> this is now the Samar Islands National Park. We've gone from just outside the boundaries to really part of the forest. And we have to cross over some smaller waterfalls first. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Sunnissi Falls! Cascades, they're so wide. There's just something magical about this place. Something really, really magical. The Zanisi Bridge. The water all comes from up here. You see it's a huge tube. There used to also be a hydroelectric plant. So this fall, it's called Zanisi Falls. And that Italian priest that we spoke about earlier, at the start of the video, it was named after him because he was the one who's considered to have discovered it. Bank the tank! Oh. Woo! <laughs> bye bye! See you in here, bad bad! I was very dat hot. When I came here, I only bought one pair of shorts and two pairs of pants and pants trousers, not pants, the British version. That would be really dat hot. And I forgot my swimming shorts, so I'm just gonna do that. Whee! Marasana. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to roll your R here. I can't do R. R, R is not in my. You didn't say water. <laughs> you say water. 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 <laughs> you say water. Marasa. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't We're do it. Rolling R. R. <laughs> I love Samar, <laughs> but I, I I have to. I can't pronounce the letter R. That's my problem. And there's lots of R's in Wabai. <laughs> Neva. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Palawan. This is the best. Oh, Palawan. Yeah. Palawan in summer. Yeah. You have to taste this first. There's magic in Palawan. Paco. Yes. Paco. Founded banana. <laughs> ah, <I did. laughs> Founded banana. <laughs> Linupak. Linupak. Lino Pat, okay, yeah. let's get some pounded banana. Yeah. There's just something magic. Something really, really magic. But I've got somewhere else to be today, which is 160 kilometers away. 
and so it being 10 o'clock in the morning it's probably a good idea to actually start heading that direction and on the way back we stumbled across a wood carver oh, 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 John, John. producing these beautiful works of art it's really a work of art oh, yeah. Galing. Galing. Oh, galing. Oh, oh. Ilang nga ako pag uh, tapos na? Uh, two weeks. Oh? Mm. Kaya ko dokad lao humanan. Two days? Mm. Dokad lao humanan. Two days. Scripted ba? Hulog ka? And along the way, we seem to have company. The boats also have to pass very close to each other. The deep part of the channel isn't very wide, leading to occasional splashes. Ah, he's waiting, the guy is waiting. <laughs> what happened there? He went the wrong way. Can't park there, mate. Welcome oh. back to Hipapad proper. And from here, we continue. That's very overdramatic, isn't it? Ice cream. Ah. Enjoy it so we're not, because it's hot. <laughs> For now, you looked afraid then. <laughs> For now, we're going to say goodbye to Indo, awesome tourism officer here. Well, thank you so much for coming. It's, it's my pleasure like, to have you in Ibaba. So, Bye -bye. without also, Frank the Tank, Frank the Tank, the, the licensed, DOT licensed regional tour guide in Eastern Sama. I keep yeah. reminding you. I'll put his contact details somewhere. We'll, we'll, uh, We'll figure this out. I don't know why I just hit my stomach, but there we go. <laughs> and see you soon. See you soon, brother. Yeah. You know yeah. it. Buhay and. Madayaus. I gusto mag tour. It's turn summer. Frank the tank is here. Frank yeah. the tank. Yeah. <laughs> and goodbye to Myra too. For now, I'm on my own, heading for the coast. <laughs> I remember this. I don't understand. I remember this from last time. The flying road. <laughs> and hello and welcome to Northern Samar. At some point we crossed over the boundary and I have no idea. We're still on the eastern coast of course. Gamai is another town that's just situated inside the inlet in a sheltered bay. Of course with its own majestic river as well. More explorations are coming up. In the next video I'm going to continue along here. This has been awesome. This has really, really been awesome. See you next time.